cool people that live here in the RV park. Um, some of them are so ugly that you truly, like, we gave you hot dogs. I think that was a mistake before we brought our first guest on stage. Jason, are you prepared? Because this is gonna be your big entrance. Dave, you can randomly select a song, but we're gonna need something wonderful for Sweet Pea's big entrance. Ladies, gentlemen, <laughs> do you feel that tingle? Did you feel it? Here it comes, ready? Our special guest is leading off the show. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the official ugliest dog in the world, 2016, Sweet Pea Rambo! Oh my goodness. All right, I have to sit down because I'll, I'll get grabby. <laughs> All right, yes, it's a diaper. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm gonna come over there. I wanna sit on the couch with you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, here, can you, can you simultaneously hold the little, the little puke pile and a, a microphone at the same time? Oh, God, I just got 35% better looking, didn't I? Look at that. <laughs> Certainly the cutest bitch on the couch. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. Hello, Jason. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Wait, I wrote things down in case I got starstruck and I forgot what I wanted to say. So, Sweet Pea Rambo, now we introduced, this is the official ugliest dog in the world. world. Now, tell me about this competition because I understand that it's been going for over 25 years. This isn't like a fly-by-night, some guy's like, yeah, that's ugly, you win. They got a thing, tell us about the competition. Uh, it's been going on for 50 years. What? Yeah, 50 years and 28 years where it's currently at in Petaluma, San Francisco. And um, it's a once a year competition and it's voted on by the judges which are like, um, you know, they're, they're more famous people. Some of them are like from uh, <clears throat> uh, Good Morning America. Like like Gary Busey famous? Or uh, like like uh, like Angelina Jolie famous? No, not like that famous. Or like Chachi famous. Chachi famous. <laughs> Chachi famous. Um, and they are renowned World of this Dog judges. And they just- What they qualifies? What qualifies a judge? I, I don't know what qualifies them, but I know I sent pictures in three years ago and they were like, that dog has to be on the show. Yeah, so Sweet Pea has headshots. Yes. For those of you who may not be in the entertainment business, uh, that's a critical tool that Sweet Pea and I share. <laughs> does Sweet Pea have an agent? Sweet Pea does not have an agent. Okay. She so is for hire. I'm doing slightly better in at least one way <laughs> than Sweet Pea. And now Sweet Pea has, I understand, now she is 17 years old, Sweet Pea is 17. but she's always been ugly. Always. Um, was there any gradual change? Like there wasn't a moment maybe when you first brought her home that you were like, oh. Um, well, it, it, her teeth fell out yes. and she went blind. And this eye is rotting out. And she wears a diaper now. So, you know, that would be good, like, if you, instead of swiping right or left on, like, voting apps, you were like, so is it ugly? And you'd be like, well, I'm blind in both eyes. One of them's rotting out. I got long ass nails. Oh, and yeah. I wear a diaper. So if you consider that ugly, <laughs> that's good. I think it's better to just list off the individual items. She's now, ugly. Oh, yeah, that's true. Now, um, she doesn't look, I'll admit it, she doesn't look the most comfortable at the moment. Um, you're kind of holding her like a ham. Uh, yeah. Is this her preferred this is it. stature? This is, this is how she's held every day of her life. Every day of her life, what yeah. a lucky she little lady. She sits more like this than she does walk. Now this is shaking, does this generally do that? No. Because it makes her grosser, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She, uh, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, um, and uh, did she, do you get the sense that during the competition, she got a little uglier, turned it up, worked harder? I, I, uh, I did, I did, I did. Mm -hmm. 
I, I let her do the bark and try to bite the one of the judges. Okay, yeah. but she doesn't have any teeth, so it was just probably yeah, a just slimy, a gum. gummy yeah. kind of. Oh, I bet job. that worked. It's a gum job. And you don't. By the way, guys, this is the trophy on the stage right yes, here. Yes, it is. This yes, is, is the yes, official, is. official 2016. Did yep. you fly with that? No. 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 No, because you drove from San Francisco. Do you? Are you going to fly it into your next television appearance? Uh, yes, they will be going at uh, the beginning of the next month. We'll be flying to New York to do a new talk show on uh, NBC. Now, do you ever find that when you're bringing Sweet Pea onto the flight, um, that she's a security risk? No, but they did give us a problem. They yeah. Gave, yeah, they give us a problem. They let her through, but they give me a problem. Because they're like, that dog's fine, but you, sir, look amiss. Yeah, yeah. They, I, they did, they did. Was it because your mustache is short and your beard is long? No. Do you think that's what it was? It was the metal in my leg. Ah, that'll do it. Did, yeah. Surely if you have metal in your leg, you give them a heads up. Or uh, do you act surprised? I act surprised. I just want to go with it. I just go with it. Good for you. Like, Good for you. You know what? Yeah. They're at work. Yeah. They may as well keep working. Oh, yeah, here's my next. So I did a little research. I read about Sweet Pea Rambo before we met, and I understand that, that she was originally a gift to your ex-wife. Yes. Is that what happened in the marriage? Was this the beginning of the end? Uh, it was. It uh, was. She, she wanted a chihuahua, and I got her You this. were like, ta-da. Ta-da, and then she's like, no, I can't have that. She wanted me to get rid of it and get her another dog. And I was like, no, I can't do that. Now, now you weren't blind, of course, when you chose this dog as a gift to, to the ex-wife. Were you unaware that it may have a, a, a negative response? Uh, no. So you were like, here's a dog. Yeah. Three, two, <laughs> one. And like my that. papers. Uh -huh. And that's 17 years. Yes. Good for you. How long did the marriage last? Uh, two hmm. years. Yeah, you, you and Sweet Pea yeah. are doing great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Comparatively. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Longest, Ta longest relationship you've ever had? Tattooed her name on me. Oh. Yep. Probably better than her picture. That was oh, a good yeah. choice between oh, yeah. the two. <laughs> um, now, you have referred to Sweet Pea Rambo as a ride or die chick. Yes. Can you explain to me what qualifies? Uh, okay, so um, we used to live in Riverside. It's 100 miles from here. And we rode on a motorcycle. She rode with a motorcycle with me on the gas tank every day, the back and forth. And one day I got a motorcycle. One day I got in a motorcycle wreck, and it was the only day that I left her at home. And, um, and it was a serious motorcycle. Wreck. Was, Is this where the metal came from? Yeah, the whole left side is all metal. So chances are Sweet Pea wouldn't have come out great. Probably not. Um, so you take Sweet Pea on mm -hmm. the back of your motorcycle every day, except for this one. Except for that day. And she's been going to work with me for 17 years. So. so, do you believe one or the other? She's a good luck charm, mm -hmm. or she was in your RV going, "Die, you son of a bitch." <laughs> probably, probably the other one. This why is the last time. <laughs> yes, I'm guessing. Why? You, you know, it me doesn't. What, it, the results the same. You it's may as same. well. It's the same. Err on the side of good luck charm. Okay, so um, I understand that you will not be able to stay for the whole show. Is that correct, or are you uh, going to stick around? Probably, I don't know yet. All right. Well, we're going to hope that we have an opportunity to get some pictures with Sweet Pea Rambo. Yes, cause, of course. Because you don't, like, I met the ugliest dog in the world. And people go, what did it smell like? I'm like, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to see the thing. They want a picture of it. Incidentally, she smells fine. But she feels real gross. Yes. <laughs> you know, can I hold her for just a second? Yes. Because I do have, ooh, is she going to pee or poop? What's more likely? I, I don't know. It's kind of a mystery. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. How do, how do we look? Do you think that Paris Hilton would let me anywhere near her if I came like this to a party? It looks like you're holding a ham. It does look like I'm holding a ham. Only a ham, like this is slightly less edible, I suppose, in a way. Now, um, here's my final question for you before we, we thank you so much for coming, which is, can you please describe to me a perfect Sunday for Sweet Pea Rambo? A perfect what? A perfect Sunday. How would her perfect Sunday go? Just like that. Just, Just hanging out on a side boob and mm -hmm. wearing a diaper. All day. That, that literally is her entire life. Really? Yeah. And sitting in the van at work. It's doing pretty good. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, who can't appreciate feeling ugly and just wanting to hang out with a boob and a diaper all day? Am I right? Am I right?
It's what unites us. Everybody, please give a big round of applause to Sweet Pea Rambo. One more time, a big thank you for Jason and Sweet Pea. Thank you so much. Did you guys see what just happened when I went to kiss Sweet Pea? Was I the only one who noticed that she kind of went? <laughs> I don't know how to handle that. I'm not handling that very well. <laughs> <laughs>